Another thing to be aware of when applying weights is the method used to calculate the deformation. In the bone deform node, this is defined as a skinning method. The most simple and efficient method is linear interpolation. Linear interpolation works very well when we are bending the joints. In most cases, we'll get exactly what we want with linear interpolation. There is, however, a problem with linear interpolation, and that problem is twisting. If we twist the bone, we'll start to lose volume around the joints. All the points will converge to a single point at 180 degrees. Twisting past 180 degrees will always cause problems and should be achieved in other ways, but we still want a better solution for joints that twist where we can retain the volume. There is a solution to this which involves the skinning method, and this uses dual quaternion interpolation. This is a far more expensive method of skinning, and it will also not always be appropriate. For example, a lot of game engines do not support dual quaternion interpolation. Dual quaternion interpolation will provide similar results with bending. However, the reason we want this is because of twisting. Quaternions give us the ability to interpolate rotations along the surface of a sphere, and this can give us better rotations in most cases. They are, however, very difficult to work with. So here we have our twist, but we are retaining the volume. So for regions that require twisting, like the forearm, you may want to consider using dual quaternions. This will depend on the type of project you're working on. One approach to using dual quaternions will be to set the skinning parameter to blend between dual quaternions and linear interpolation. This, however, will need an attribute. I'll need to add the attribute to the mesh, and in this case, I'll use an attribute paint node. I will call this attribute blend, and I can then use this attribute to determine which parts of the mesh use dual quaternion skinning. So instead of just painting the weight influence on my mesh, I may also want to define the way in which the weights are applied.